Northern Group under the auspices of Unified Nigerian Youth Forum, UNYF, has passed a vote of confidence on the National Chairman of Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, who has made vigorous transformation in all areas with adoption of electronic voting and the recent electoral bill signed into law by President Mohamed Buhari. The said Nigerians are more confident with electoral umpire to deliver free, fair and credible transparent elections, which is a dividend in any democratic system of government. He stressed that ghost voters, registration of foreigners and preloaded fake accreditation as insinuated by mischief makers, shallow and unfounded, noting that how can foreigners gain entry into the country without its detection by the Nigerian Immigration Services and State Security Services saying such act is to tarnish the reputation of the Independent National Electoral Commission and is indefatigable with antics of the elections at hand by putting politicians jittery and making noise. We are equally worried and concerned with the BFA's lie in some quarters that 15,000 foreign, foreigners were registered in September alone in the ward of the current governor of Imo State, Senator Hope Ozidima. Nothing can be more misleading and dishonest than this claim, especially now that INEC has recently sanitized the voter register with more than two million double registration expunged completely. This is the first of its kind in the history of our democracy. The allegation of vote work, vote, the, the allegation of vote of ghost, work, ghost voters, registration of foreigners, and preloaded fake accreditation, as insinuated by mischief makers, is unintelligent, shallow, and unfounded. How did the foreigner gain entry into our country without detection by the Nigerian Immigration Services and the State Security Services? Does Imo State share border with any foreign country? How will those fake preloaded accredited electorates cast their vote, or will they be given ballot in police station without on-site accreditation? This is last laughable and should be disregarded at any rate. We, on behalf of the entire Nigerian youth, pass a vote of confidence on the national chairman of INEC and his entire team, Professor Mahmoud Yakub and his entire team, for being a worthy ambassador of Nigeria. Why we call on all assembly to mobilize and support the commission towards the conduct of 2023 general election, which we believe will be the best in our nation history. It is strange to say that the APC or any political party is pressurizing INEC. It is against, it is again not true that INEC and indeed Professor Mahmoud Yakub have been pressured by anybody to deactivate or stop the use of beavers. They introduced in fulfillment of the president's promise to deliver a transparent election. INEC is established by law and has a law guiding its activities. No individual, I repeat, no individual, I repeat, no individual can wake up and decide to deactivate the use of beavers when the law say it should be deployed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.